Collaboration Kitchen is put on by Catalina Offshore Products and Specialty Produce. So we got some uh, base scallops. I'm going to put them in. This is going to be our next course, too. It got a little uh, Madras curry powder. And just a little bit of oil. Not a lot. A lot of oil, I guess. <laughs> so we're hooking this hose up. It's going to suck all the air out of here, which is going to create this huge, huge amount of pressure. There it goes. And like I said, just think of a submarine going under the ocean, and the deeper you go, the more pressure. So the curry powder is going to get forced in there. We're only going to have to run this for five minutes, and it's going to be a, a completely marinated uh, base gallon. So the, the vacuum process has quit on this because I'm going to take this off like this. I'm going to put it on the tumbler here like this. And it has uh, settings here. And it, it'll kick in. So uh, the next course we're going to do is we got the base scallops that we marinated in the Rebio early this afternoon. We did a, a curry coconut verblanc. And verblanc is a butter sauce. We reduced about uh, half a gallon of vinegar down to about three to four tablespoons. And that's what emulsifies the butter into one unit. So that's going to be the sauce over this. And we're going to just serve a little uh, zucchini and a little cilantro for garnish. Next, the chef peels and grates fresh ginger. You need about one teaspoon of finely grated ginger. He will then cook the ginger and garlic over moderate heat with oil for about 30 seconds. To plate this course, the cook drizzles the ginger oil on the plate and then adds the zucchini and scallops. Then to finish the plating, he garnishes with fresh cilantro microgreens and lime wedges. The plate is now ready to be served.